Civil rights attorney Arthur Shores was at the forefront of litigation and the civil rights movement in Birmingham. And because of that, he and his family became targets of people who wanted to silence the movement. His daughters, Judge Helen Shores Lee and Barbara Shores, sat down with CBS 42 to talk about how their father's legacy and also how it has helped to shape Birmingham's past, present, and future. Looking at it today, you would never guess this tight-knit community was a popular target for the Ku Klux Klan. When we were growing up, it was customary for gunshots to fly through the windows all the time. Guns, riots, and bombings were common on Center Street. So much so that the community earned the nickname Dynamite Hill. Jefferson County Judge Helen Shores Lee grew up in that community during the civil rights movement at the height of zoning changes that would lead to neighborhood integration. I never saw my father angry. I never saw him spew hatred. No one, including Lee and her family, was safe from the attacks. The smell of the dynamite was so strong. It was just like a hypodermic needle shooting up into my nose through my eyes and everything, it was so strong. For Center Street neighbors, staying watchful was key to survival. I knew immediately when the bomb went off to hit the floor and, and crawl to safety. The bombs weren't the only threats. Angry mobs often took to the hill in hopes of dismantling the people behind the movement, attacking them right at the heart of the movement, their homes. It was the first time, I think, after the second bombing that I felt a strong emotion of hate. And I can remember my father telling me not to hate the people, but to forgive them because the hate would destroy me. And we were a very religious family. And after that, the whole family went in to pray and he was asking forgiveness for the people who had, had done the crime. While many of those crimes remain unsolved, Lee believes the mentality behind them remains. But I think that racism in this state, in our city, is very much alive and well and operates every day. To combat it, she suggests reaching out to the next generation and instill in them tolerance, compassion, and love. I think we need to start with our young children, teaching them um, how to treat people and not to, to hate. And above all else, never forget the past. I think we as older, Adults need to, to share that history with the young kids. 